So one of the main arguments against a monopoly or against an oligopolistic firm owning the market or controlling the market is the effect on consumer surplus and the producer surplus. The consumer surplus, in simple terms, is just a surplus that consumers get from the good being sold at that price. So for example, I can show you now, for example here, if the quant some people here and they want they want to buy this good at this price there are some people here who want to buy the good at this price here this price etc so all of these consumers here are actually willing to pay more than the equilibrium price so when the price is actually sold at this level here they're actually getting all these guys here they're actually getting surplus because they're getting it cheaper than they wanted. And the same goes for the producer. If you look at the supply curve here, some of the suppliers actually wanted to supply the good right down here. But they're actually selling it at P1. So they're happy. And if we go up, we go up, there is producer surplus. So how does this affect in a monopoly market? How is this affected in a monopoly market? So here is a basic diagram showing the effects in a monopolistic market. So what does this show us? Well, clearly the supply has shifted from Q1 here to Q2 there, and this shows that the the monopoly can actually restrict supply, and when you restrict supply, it leads to an increase in price level. Just going to draw a basic diagram now of supply and demand. We have supply up here, and we have demand going down there. If we increase the supply, so S2, S1, if you increase the supply, from S1 to S2, you actually get an increase in the price level, as you should probably be aware in your AS course. If you want any help on supply and demand curves, then head over to my YouTube channel, and there will be plenty of tutorials on there. So going back to this diagram, it's basically showing that they've restricted the, the supply of the good that they're selling or outputting, and it's led, to, it's led to an increase in the price from P2 to P1. As an effect of this, the consumer surplus has been shrank and the producer surplus has gone up. Why has it gone up? Because the producers are now getting more money than they originally anticipated. So, for example, if I just draw this on here, you can show that basically the quantity here, Q1, has actually increased to Q2 and this producer surplus has actually increased to this area here. So you can shade this in as now being producer surplus. So the producer gains at the extent of the consumer because the consumer here, his surplus has actually shrank down to a very small level. And we basically call this effect a net less a net loss of economic welfare from price P2 raised above the equilibrium price. The equilibrium price has been here. Raising the price above the equilibrium price to P2 has led to a loss of welfare altogether. And it's not allocatively efficient. Quickly going back to allocative efficiency, this is basically where welfare is maximised in society. So an effect of these monopolies forcing up the price and by reducing the quantity has led to a smaller consumer surplus, a larger producer surplus, so the, the producer is actually gaining at the extent of the consumer, and there's a net loss of welfare there. And that's really good for explaining in your exam the um, consequences of having a monopolistic market.